Okay, welcome back to Blog Monetization. We're monetizing your blog, and what we're going to do in this video is we are going to do a redirect of your affiliate link, and what we're going to do is we're going to do this inside of your WordPress installation. So you'll notice uh, if you are familiar with WordPress that I'm in my back office of WordPress, and the way that you get to your back office of WordPress is you will just take the URL. Uh, or wherever your WordPress installation is and you'll type in wp-admin like for instance mine is in uh, heyon.biz for dash gdaddy uh, we'll be taking that out after the uh, after the tutorial but uh, wherever your installation is you'll just type in wp-admin and it will take you to the back office of your WordPress installation now so what do you need to do what you're going to need to do a couple of things here. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to update your WordPress with a couple of plugins. And what you're going to do is go to the plugin section on the left hand side and type in add new. And then you're going to do a search for plugins. And what you're going to do is you're going to uh, search for a plugin called page links. Okay. Uh, it says page links plus page links two. Uh, you can really use any of these. Um, I like to use uh, uh, page links two, and we're going to go ahead and install that right here. We'll just click the install now button. We'll activate that plugin, and then what we're going to do is when we actually go to make a post and we add a new post we're going to put our affiliate link in this bottom area but there's still one more thing that we'll need to do to our WordPress installation in order to make this work now one of the things that we'll be doing here is that when we actually do our post or our pages whenever we do a page it's going to show up in our menu area right but we don't want it to show up in our menu area so we're going to need to add a plugin in order to do that so we're going to go and add a new plugin here and the plugin we're going to add in is called exclude pages right it'll come up right there at the top we're going to install it by clicking install now activate the plugin so now when we actually go to uh, put a new page in with our affiliate link in there right here's we're going to do this we're going to put that uh, as an alternative URL and that's where our affiliate links going to go we are going to untick this box so that our page won't show up in our menu. That way we can use the link any place that we want in order to create a redirect. Now, that's how you'll do this within WordPress. Now let's talk about the redirect and why you're going to want to actually do it. Now what I'm going to need to do is to show you what an affiliate link looks like. And I'm going to do that by pulling up an affiliate link I'm going to pull up an affiliate link here from the Warrior Forum. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the affiliate link looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do as an affiliate, I'm going to go and get a link here. Doesn't really matter which one we get. and uh, let's see I'm gonna pick up a link here and then I'm gonna show you what that link looks like okay so here's the link now let's enlarge that so you can see it Okay, you want to take that large, ugly 
looking link and you want to put it inside of something that uh, is representative of what you'd like to send out now one of the best ways to do that is within your blog by using a domain name or using your domain name and masking it with the page and so that's why you're going to use your page link so what we'll do is we're going to take that affiliate link we're going to put it inside of that alternative URL and what we're going to do is we're going to title our page something that's representative of what we're doing and so what we'll say here is that we're just gonna for the sake of example we're gonna call this example F link now when you type all this as one word example F link got your affiliate link down there you're going to exclude the number of pages there exclude this from the page list there we're going to publish this and now the link that we're going to be placing all over the internet is going to be our domain name plus that word there remember it's going to be all one word is the best way to do it so we our website here is heyon.biz forward slash uh, g daddy what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make oh that's our affiliate link we don't want to do that I'm gonna copy this okay and that's actually what our affiliate link is going to look like now so let's take a look at what that looks like versus what we had there before now that's the affiliate link we had there before pretty ugly our affiliate links now gonna look like our branded um, domain name or wherever our uh, wherever we have <coughs> our blog so now our affiliate link looks like our blog now what I'd like to do is I like to have a directory or I like to have uh, you know maybe instead of GDaddy I might like to have recommends here right recommends right and and I'll show you how to do that here uh, the way that you can do that within WordPress are is a couple of different ways what we can do is we can make this example app link we can make it a we can make it a a child or to another parent link now this is already done so we're gonna leave this here for now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new page and we're gonna call that page recommends and forgive me if I'm not spelling this right we're just doing this for the sake of example I could google it but okay recommends and that's all we're gonna do we're gonna once again un untick that and this time we're gonna leave that as a as a normal WordPress URL recommends we're gonna click publish now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to all of our pages and we're going to edit the page that we just created the example app link and what we're going to do is we're going to say that the parent link is now recommends we're going to update it right now the minute that I actually uh, go to this link it's actually gonna go to the redirect I'm gonna show you what it looks like now because now what I'm gonna do is it's going to actually be the link is going to actually be our website recommends and then we're gonna have our page name there now let's see what that looks like okay so all we really did was we just changed the name there and so now it says recommends right that looks a little more official 
right? You can do it just like this. You can leave that link there, but you could also create another page that makes it look a little more professional that says your website recommends this. So now when you put that link either in your email or in your um, in in your promotions, your affiliate link, you're really going to then just put that there. And what it's going to now do? Let's see, it didn't do that. Let's see, I might have that uh, might have that wrong there. If I spelled that right, let's see. Okay, so we're just going to add our affiliate link there like this. Paste in and go. Recommends example app link, and then it'll go to the page where we want to have people go. Right, let's do that again. I'm just going to put in our GDaddy recommends example app link. It's going to paste. We're going to click there, and it's going to redirect to the offer. And that is the way that you want to try to hide your link um, until the person actually gets to the place where they can take a look at. And what happens is your affiliate link uh, probably shows up briefly, but it's going to redirect right to the actual page where your offer is. Now, in this case, we did this with the Warrior form. This would be your actual offer wherever it is. Okay, so thanks, and with that, I will see you in another video.